Ladies and gentlemen, this ABC news report out of Australia just go to show you that you can get sunburns any time of the year. Now, I was looking at a few articles that were talking about the winter sunburns that people get. And, you know, you also get the wind burns this time of the year. So it doesn't even matter if there's snow on the ground. Folks can still get sunburns. So it doesn't matter if you're here in the U.S. or over in Australia. So they're saying that, you know, this time of the year, it is summertime over in Australia. They see at least one child per week with uh, severe sunburns. Wow. At least one child every week with severe sunburn. And remember, they have all kinds of sunscreens on the shelves in Australia, just like they do here in the U.S. It doesn't make any difference. So in the burn units of Perth, busy children's hospital staffs treating young babies for sunburn. It is not the result of neglect, but rather well-intended uh, parents leaving their children in the shade, believing they were protected. But no, you're not even protected, believe it or not, driving your car. Do you know that sun, the sun rays can go right through the windshield and the person driving the car can still get a sunburn? You can get burned from indoor lights. I did a story where all of these people went to a nightclub and they had these fluorescent lights. And it, it, well, I mean, tons of people that were in the club got burnt from the fluorescent lights. They thought I have... You know, they, they thought, look, I sat in the sun, I put my child in the sun, and they don't realize that the ultraviolet rays are being reflected. So you can still be heavily impacted, even in the shade. So key points, more than one child a week under the age of 10 was taken to WA emergency departments with severe burns in 2019. The number of cases have almost doubled in six years with 63 presenting in 2018. Professional advice is to keep babies covered even in the shade and for older kids to wear a t-shirt, hat, and sunscreen. Wow. Wow. You know, especially when many of us don't even have to do that at all. I don't even know what a sunburn feels like, y'all. I've never been burnt. Some of those uh, were so severe, uh, so, so severely burnt, they were given painkillers, treated with intravenous fluids, and admitted, wow. Wow. So they're showing you on the chart how these sunburns have risen over a six-year period. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Here's another chart. Hospital presentation for sunburn have increased, particularly in younger people. Yeah, okay, so you can see the light blue is zero to nine years old. And then you see the orange 10 to 19. The green is 20 to 29. The yellow 30 to 39. The purple 40 to 49. And... 50 plus in the red. So yeah, you see the younger people are getting it the worst. I mean, so what is it? Are they not applying the sunscreen? What is it? Every two hours 
you have to reapply the sunscreen or maybe they are just believing if it's not a sunny day or if they're in the shade, you know, all they need to, they don't really need to do anything. They can, you know, go out there without sunscreen on, but, you know, I was reading even on a cloudy day, they still have to wear sunscreen. They have to wear it all the time. Wow. That, <laughs> that is crazy. That is like foreign to me. Seriously, that is foreign to me. The rise is across the board, but certainly it is the zero to nine age group that we are seeing a significant number of cases there, Mr. Strickland said. So over the six years of data that we got, those numbers have essentially doubled the figures collected from hospitals by the Cancer Council showed a total of 292 people were seen. Okay, in WA emergency departments last year compared with 185 in 2014. If we are seeing this 10% rise year on year, it's going to become a population health issue for us, Mr. Strickland said. UV radiation damages the DNA in our skin cells, and we then need our immune systems to kick in and repair the damage. You know, I was reading that a lot of these people that are burnt ultimately will end up with skin cancer years later. Prevention crucial. Miss McWilliams said parents should seek early treatment if their babies or children get sunburned. But she said prevention was crucial. This means not taking babies outside when the UV rating is high and keeping them covered, even in the shade. For older children, her advice again was to cover up and keep reapplying sunscreen, especially after swimming and active sports. Yeah, because you know what? I was reading even the sunscreens that are marked waterproof. Those folks will go in the ocean, swim around. I don't know if it's the salt water that will just kind of eat the sunscreen off. It could. And they'll come out of the water and immediately get burnt. I did some stories on that over the last few years. But the bottle is clearly marked waterproof. It's not waterproof at all. I think once it comes in contact with the salt water, it must change the composition of the cream, you know, or it just completely washes off in contact with salt water. You know, I mean, I could be wrong. Okay, this week, as families enjoy the last weeks of the school holidays on the popular foreshore, two people are sunbaking. Most were wearing hats and many children were wearing protective tops. Geraldton, mother of two, Haley Halton, and she said she was conscious of protecting her own children after a childhood of rarely cover up at the beach. It was days before rash vest and she did not always wear sunscreen. As a teenager, I had moles removed. I definitely had to look after the kid's skin, Miss Halton said. Geraldton woman, Karen Ivy, sitting further up uh, the beach wearing a hat, uh, said she had seen uh, attitudes towards sun protection change for the better. Mm -mm -mm. cover up and put on that sunscreen. I thought it is a lot better than what it was, Miss Ivy said. Wow. I, I just can't imagine living in this world and can't handle the sun. I, I, I don't even know what that feels like, y'all. And I know many of you don't either. I just can't imagine. How do you live on earth knowing the sun is going to shine the majority of the time and you can't handle that sun. 
I just could not imagine living that kind of existence. I, I couldn't. It, it's like a foreign object on the earth. And the sun is identifying that foreign object by burning it up. Hospital presentation for sunburn have increased faster for women than men. So you can see where women were back in 2014 and where they are now. Yeah, that is a pretty big increase. And then you see the men who always seem to appear to be higher, but the women look like they are definitely catching up. You know, I was reading that a lot of the men that do those outdoor jobs, construction or mail carrier, you know, something where they are outside the majority of the time, it was saying that they tend to die earlier from some form of skin cancer especially when they get in their 40s and 50s, you know, then all of a sudden there is a problem. And they end up dying, you know, because of skin cancer from sunburns that they endured at younger ages from working outside. So, wow. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. You know, it just looks bad when you can't handle the sun, but you put this false premise that your skin is better. But we see this happening to you more than anyone else. So, I mean, some people are buying it and many of us are not. So, ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.